Well, Shando is Tyler Laughlin, one of the champions here today, the Jerome Howe Relays, uh, doing so in the disc, in the discus. Uh, Tyler, you go just over 144, uh, probably the first toss of the outdoor season or one of them for you. What are the thoughts? Um, it was a really good day. Uh, I, had a, I had an issue with foot fouling at the beginning, but uh, I kind of figured things out and got it in the last throw for the win. It's a better mark than I started off at last year, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, how much is early in the season just about setting the tone for the rest of the season? Um, well, my PR is about 14 feet farther, so I'm not too mad with it. I, I think if they got, gave me one more throw, I could have thrown just a little bit farther. But, you know, with the circumstances I had, it was, it was a good throw. Today, uh, it had been kind of calm, but as we record this interview, a little bit of a wind. Uh, what were the conditions like during the throws? Uh, they were perfect. They were really good. Uh, little to no wind, and uh, it was really just me against myself out there. You had a strong year last year, uh, your first at the high school level. What did that do confidence-wise going into the season? Um, I know I had to start off good and uh, continue the streak of performing high in order to you know, perform well at big meets like conference districts, state, all that. Yeah, now how do you try to build off that, off of what you're able to do today? Uh, just continue improving on that mark throughout the season, match my PR, break my PR, and uh, continue to go farther. Well, Clarendon's Isaac Jones goes two for two in field events. The Jerome Howe relays here tonight. Uh, Isaac, what are the thoughts? I know it's still early in the season, uh, but two strong showings for you. How are you feeling? Um, basically, at this point, it's just getting better from here. It's working on everything I can, getting the film on high jump, long jump, seeing what I can critique and do better. It's just the little things right now. Last year, uh, in the high jump, you got hot at the right time. That culminated into a state championship. Speak to, is there any pressure or anything coming into this year, knowing what you're capable of? No pressure. It's just getting better as myself, doing what I can to stay on top. 6-4 today. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, better than last year. Last year at this time, I was only going 6-2, so slowly increasing. Yeah, and then your your first time in the high jump, you tell me, or long jump route, you tell me, and, and you go out and, and you go over 21. Um, one, what made you want to do that event? Two, what did you like about it? Three, is that something you kind of see yourself doing the rest of the year? Um, it was definitely Coach Blank's idea. He wanted me to, I mean, it's a jumping event. Of course, he's going to try and put me in it. Uh, did really well in that, so we're going to keep it. And that was my first time actually hitting the board, so hopefully I keep jumping over 21 the rest of the year. What does a, a performance like this do confidence-wise for the rest of the season? Uh, you mentioned a much better start than last year. Um, I knew I could do it. It's basically just showing everyone else, keeping on top of it, staying on top. Mentally, how do you try to approach this season? Uh, don't let the little things get to me. Don't be, have a big head. Don't think I'm all that when I'm really just working on stuff, trying to be the best person I can. Well, St. Albert's uh, Brendan Monahan, a two-time champion here tonight in the 100 and the 200. Uh, Brendan, I know it's early in the season, but a strong showing. What are your thoughts? Um, I'm, I'm happy about tonight. First outdoor meet of the year, first time running the 100. I just wanted to see what I'd put up. Same with the two. I just wanted to just kind of get a gauge. Ran in the indoor a couple weeks ago, and so I wanted to see what I'd run on a 400 track. Yeah, and that's a good 200 field you were with. Uh, two Riverside runners that just broke the meet record in the 4x2. Uh, of course, Amos from IKO Manning as well, really fast. What do you feel you did well in the 200 that led to the win? Yeah, I wanted to come out the block strong uh, and focus on that first 60. And then after that, just keep my form. And I felt like I did a good job of that. Just focusing on my lane, staying on the inside. And yeah, that was the plan. Last year, you were surrounded by some other really, really good runners like Sam Rollis, uh, who has since graduated. Now, in a sense, you're maybe the leader of this team. Speak to that dynamic. Yeah, I enjoyed a lot of new guys on the team this year, and they're, uh, they're getting their feet in the water. But they're doing good so far, and I think they'll progress a lot as the year goes on. I tell you, the 100, 200, probably where you're going to specialize this year. Uh, what's the approach? What do you want to accomplish? Just get better with every me. I want to work on my starts a lot in the one. Uh, looking forward to the competition this year. I think that'll push me a lot. And I think, yeah, just focus on the starts this year. Underwood's Bryce Patton, a two-time champion here tonight. Uh, Bryce, nice start to the season up to this point. What are the thoughts? 
Uh, I'm feeling good. It's like last year, ending off with PRs in the open day of like 209. Just knowing I can go faster, and it's nice to actually see them coming around this early in the season. What does last year do uh, for you confidence-wise, being a part of a, a state championship team, being a part of some state championship relays? So I'm sure you had to have a confidence high coming in this year. Yeah, it surely gives you confidence knowing that you're up there in the state and, like, you have something to prove, but it also gives you some pressure knowing, like, people go out there knowing we won state last year, so we just got to show up and not give them anything and win. 800 looked like it was uh, kind of a – a tough one to get out but once you got out you were, you were clearly the guy to beat take us through that race yeah so getting out I was in lane four but we had like eight people in it so we had to spread it out but I know get to the lead get in the front where I like to run get out fast go through at like around 60 59 get to the 600 usually in a goal of like 130 maybe a little quicker and close with whatever I have and I knew I'd be like alone for most of that race so just getting out there and running how I know I can looking ahead to the rest of the season what do you want to accomplish I'm hoping to get some goals in the eight, open eight, like sub two maybe this year. Clo get some state championships maybe, see how it goes. Tell me about the relays this year. Uh, I know you guys lost some big pieces like Braden, but still a lot returning. Yeah, we obviously lost Braden. He was a big part of our team. Helped us out and basically he could run anything four through or one through eight and we knew he was there for us. So we have a lot of big shoes to fill and hopefully we can go back to state and just cause as much damage as we can. Waterman's Gavin Smith sweeps the hurdle events here tonight. Uh, Gavin, uh, we're early in the outdoor stage of the season, but a strong showing for you. Uh, what are the takeaways from tonight? Yeah, I finally got a good night. It was a little windy on the first night. A little breezy here tonight, but still probably one of the better meets we're going to get for earlier in the year. So I think shuttle went all right. We had a kid fall, but it's his first year. He's a freshman, so he got up fine from that. Still ran, everybody ran better times here besides that one, obviously. So I think just... Slowly improving on that will be good throughout the year. Highs were good. Like I said, not as windy tonight. Thought I got out better. That was something definitely I struggled with last year. So I think this year that's one thing I've been really been focusing on is trying to get out quicker. And I think I did good to the first hurdle and then through the first six. And then just trying to hold my speed through the last four is definitely going to be something to work on for the remainder of the year. Compare the start of the year this year to the start of the year last year. Are you on par or do you like where you're at more than you were this time last year? Yeah, I think definitely in a little better spot than where I was last year. I mean, don't there was a couple guys last year that really pushed me in the highs and the 400 hurdles from Trainer and other towns, so that was really helpful. So not having them this year kind of sucks, but definitely probably a little ahead this year because last year, obviously, we were coming off that two-year break. I didn't have my sophomore year to run hurdles, so... Definitely a little shaky start to last year, so definitely like where I'm at to the start this year, just starting out strong in the highs and the lows and just continuing to get better is going to be something to work on. Yeah, uh, what's the approach going forward? Yeah, I think definitely, like I said, they're just finishing strong in the highs is going to be important. I think I've been oh, excuse me, working on my start good, but I think I've always been pretty good, like two through seven or eight. So I think I worked on the start a lot last year. That's gotten a little better, so then this year I think is really going to be focusing on those last two hurdles, staying in form, getting over those, and then pushing over that last hurdle to finish. And in the 400 hurdles, I just remember last year I was always didn't quite get out as fast. People always caught up to me quick, and I tried to push late. So I think that's something I've been trying to do this year is just go out strong. I haven't had much competition yet to run against, which kind of sucks, but hopefully there will be some people to push me later in the year just for that finish, you know. Gets the adrenaline pumping a little more towards the end and just going to be able to finish that strong. It's going to be big.